one of the most important things about keeping koi is the removal of chlorine before it enters the pond. Um, chlorine is a, is a very nasty product that's added to our tap water here in the UK um, for disinfection purposes. Unfortunately, our koi hate it and also do the, so do the filters. So as part of removing that chlorine here at Leak Koi, we use what's called a big blue. A big blue is uh, a large filter that's filled with active carbon. The water's then passed up through uh, from the mains, it passes through there. And here at Leak Koi, that water is then piped around all the inside of the shop. We've tested the chlorine and the chlorine's showing us that it was 0 0.005. Now, when people are talking about safe levels of chlorine in a pond, as far as I'm concerned, there is no safe level of chlorine and we should always aim for a zero reading. If you're still having the chlorine passing through your big blue and your carbon filters after, after the water passed through there, then slow the flow down, let that water dwell longer on the chlorine. So today what we're going to do is we're going to be changing the carbon in the big blue. We're going to be using this Koi SOS carbon. It's an active carbon, ideal for very, very porous, very light, and that is ideal for um, dechlorinating our tap water. This is also available on the website along with the big blues and everything else that we're doing today. If you want any links, then please contact us and we will, um, we will share the links with you. So first things first, we're going to isolate the water. So there we go, that's where our water comes in here at Elite Koi. We've isolated the water there, but now we're going to swap over and Michael's going to squeeze himself through that gap to the big blue. And all, we've, all we're looking to do at this point here is remove the big blue. You can see we fitted it using speed fit fittings. So there we go, one off the other one off. These are quite heavy guys so when you lift them obviously be careful lifting it either side there of the of the main casing part. If you were to lift it here and here the chances are you would snap this part here. So the big blue comprises of um, a, car a coconut block cartridge in here. Uh, we will replace that while we're replacing the carbon. Let's get it outside. So here we go with the big blues now outside. We recommend that you do this job outside because the carbon can go everywhere, obviously it's wet. What's happening here is Michael's just taking that pre-filter off. Coconut block inside it. Let's have a look how much debris is on there. Yeah, look at that. Well worth a change that now. And now he's just going to remove the top of the big blue. Again, this is the way that we like to do it here at Link Koi. They can be quite tricky, these, in the positioning them and getting the pipe back on after you've refilled the carbon. So the top's just coming up there. You'll see that there's a pipe in the middle there. And what Michael's done is he's just pulled this off the pipe and left the pipe in situ. Now, of course, that's full of water. We're going to get that carbon out in a moment but that pipe needs to go back like that, ready for when we finish. So just make a note of that guys and girls when you unscrew it. So here we go, we're just going to empty the waste of the water out now straight down the drain. Obviously this will make it lighter for us uh, handling it. And what we'll do now is we'll get some fish bags, position that onto the table deck. If you want to grab a bag, we've got the hose pipe ready as well. So that filter is now going to lay on the table, deck's going to hold a fish bag over the end and we're going to get all the old carbon removed from it. Big Blue's now in position on the table, we've got the the carbon there just going into the bag, it's definitely a two-man job this makes it a lot easier and all we'll do is we'll put the old carbon into the bag there, we'll pierce a couple of tiny holes in the bottom to drain the water off and then you can just dispose of that used carbon however you choose to dispose of it. You see the pipe there again, pipe's coming out now so that's loose. Yeah. Now what we'll do is we'll get the pipe out, 
messy job this make sure you've got something on the floor certainly if you're doing it indoors make sure you've got something on the floor to catch any any carbon and there we go good shake a real good shake the carbon there you can see it in the fish bag coming through this carbon's done a cracking job um, it's been filtering our water now in the shop uh, giving us chlorine free water for best part of 18 months two years now we do check the chlorine levels regularly one thing that uh, brought our attention to testing it just recently of course is uh, the fish had started to do a little bit of flicking which would suggest to us that there's something getting through when the water's on making them flick so one last shake there we go what we're going to do we're just going to get the hose pipe in there now and swill them last remaining bits out and then we'll start reassembling the, the uh, filter so now just the fresh water out here just to get the remainder of that carbon out the vessel give it a little roll around this time we're just letting it go into the bucket so we can take the waste of the water out and pop it in the bag so I think that's looking good so now we're ready for putting the, uh, the new carbon in what we've done is we've just covered this uh, pipe with a little bit of plastic and elastic band that's now going to be placed back down the centre of the cylinder that's going to hold in place there so the pipe's been positioned back in the filter. What needs to happen now is we need to fill the carbon with that in the centre where it is now so that we can then attach this back on top of the pipe when we screw it down it will go in there. It's very very hard to do uh, to get that pipe in after you've added the carbon. So this is our way of doing it. The guys now are just going to put a bit in through the funnel you can see there it's just going down the side nice wide funnel to get the carbon in bit of a system going here this yeah. is uh, a few times now we've placed the carbon in these big blues you see michael's just manipulating it around the edges of that center pipe when we get uh, probably when we get a couple of inches in there then we'll stop just reposition the pipe and it should be set ready for filling up completely medium sized big blue of course recommended 37 litres of carbon the Koi SOS carbon comes in tubs of 10 litres so you need four tubs of carbon to refill a big blue and that uh, that big blue supplied as chlorine free water and we use a lot of water at Elite Koi for possibly about two years now so a very cost effective way of dechlorinating your pond water see they're definitely a two-man job a little bit of dust coming off the carbon this is perfectly normal what we do is when the filters back up and running just before we run it on the pond system we will flush it through to get rid of um, any dust from the carbon yeah, so it's holding itself now. yeah so Michael's saying there that's now holding itself level it's perfectly in the middle so when it's full of carbon of course that will push back on and then we we tighten back up so let's carry on well we think we're about two thirds three quarters of the way full now with carbon one our third bucket of the elite koi sos carbon great product this is the only carbon that we stock here at elite koi uh, we, we found it very good our customers a lot of the community are using this carbon they say that it's uh, zero readings on chlorine which demonstrates how good the carbon actually is as with all filters flow rates do make a difference if you're struggling if you've got a high content of chlorine in your tap water you may have to slow your, your flow over the carbon down a little bit just to ensure the maximum dwell time on the carbon so Michael's just coming up with a top tip here that filter is now full 
Uh, what's your tip, Michael? So when you're going to put the lid back on, if you're lucky, you see all this carbon on the threads. It's a nightmare to get back on. So best thing to do is swirl this with a hose, clean out all this um, the threaded part. So when you go to put the lid on, it'll be nice and smooth. Yeah, good tip. Good tip. So let's get it put back together then, guys. So it's just swirling round that top bit now. Obviously nice and uh, grit free so that when the lid goes on the other thing that we must remember to do of course is to remove that carrier bag uh, that plastic bag that's preventing the carbon from falling down the centre. Another tip here is as well is when you fill them don't fill them right to the very top because that needs to you need to be able to screw that down the depth of the filter so we'll whip that that uh, bag, off. bag off and then if I pass that over to you yeah. I'll take that now we're just positioning that on you see that just snuck down and now it's just a matter of That's it, right. so there we go we're just twisting it on there just be careful guys that you don't twist the thread when it first goes on Dex's just going to come in now, hold the body of it. And this we found, we've never had to tighten with the spanner, we just do it hand tight. You've got quite a bit of purchase either side on the fittings to tighten it up. Just be careful if you're pulling on this side, of course, uh, you, you could quite easily snap this part there. That's it done. So now we're going to swill it out with some fresh water until the water runs clear. Replace the, the yeah. cartridge and then she's good to go. Big Blue's put back together now, all we have to do is change the sediment cartridge. I did refer to this earlier as a coconut block, it's a figure of speech really goes back. But this is a 5 micron, five micron sediment partic particle filter and this just takes really the heavy debris from the tap water before it goes through your carbon. So you just take, make sure you take the wrapping off and then that will just screw back up into position there and that is uh, that's the filter now back together we'll just tighten that up with the bolt uh, get some water give it a flush through and we're back in action so the uh, big blues back in the shop Michael's just going to hook it back up to our speed fit fittings that we use see there it's a really quick job for us it really is possibly one of the most important pieces of equipment uh, in any fish house is the dechlorinating unit you can see there this is the uh, the source water coming in and then we feed up and around that pipe there and it feeds all the way around the shop so that big blue is feeding fresh water chlorine free to every pond system that we have here at Elite Play. So I think Michael's turned it back on now. Yeah. She's all ready to go. Any questions guys please um, please send them through. Contact us if you need any more information. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and if there's anything else that you'd like to see a how done video let us know below.